So I made some updates to the UV tools add-on. Um, some commenters had some really good ideas, so I just quickly implemented them. Let me show you them real quick. So we have an empty scene here. If I just press Control A, I'm gonna drop in a proto body. And then the options we have over here is we can quickly change it from a static body to a rigid body. Um, so it does it right here inside the editor and this is just a, a convenience thing. So let's turn this into like a floor uh, static body. So we'll do some scaling here. And then uh, I'm gonna drop in a texture. So another feature I added is this quick albedo texture resource that you can just drop in. So let's say we wanna use this uh, Kenny texture right here, drop that in, and then I'm gonna shift it down slightly. Um, then we'll do control A, add another proto body, maybe pull it up a bit and manipulate the size. And let's just do one more texture. So we'll do orange. And you can see it works the same as before. Um, you're gonna get that UV scaling, sorry, UV projecting, really. It doesn't stretch or scale. And maybe I should just show, I guess, what it would look like if you didn't scale or you didn't project the UV. So if we just do a transform on this, you can see, let's unlock this. Um, you can see it's gonna stretch, right? So even with a cube projection, if you just, you know, blindly scale it, it's gonna stretch that uh, that texture. Um, so we don't we don't want that here. So if you have uh, this this uh, add-on, then you're gonna get these UVs automatically reproject based on the cube projection. Um, the only other thing is I grouped the editor settings a little better. If you turn auto reload off, then this will have no effect until you hit the manual reload button and then you can you can control it that way. Originally I had this as a feature because performance wasn't very good, but I seem to have fixed the performance issues and now you can you know you can scale right inside the editor and it doesn't seem to cause any any issues. I also updated the proto cube node. So if we go proto cube just to work exactly like the, the proto body. Um, so maybe this proto body I will just scale down a touch so we can see it kind of uh, fall into the scene so we'll do this and then maybe maybe rotate it a bit right and then the proto cube I'm gonna put another texture on here let's do maybe purple and same thing so you can change the size and those uh, UVs will will rescale let me just readjust my camera and have a run so this one here I still had it set as static body so this is really easy to fix we'll just go rigid body save and then rerun and there you go so this hopefully is a real quick way to do some prototyping and you don't have to worry about the collisions or anything like that and then it automatically um, cube projects for you so just a real small update here um, oh and it is on the asset store now so if you search for uh, well it looks like it's right here but if you search for uv tools you will find this and you can download it right from the uh, right from the asset store so thanks for watching and hopefully this helps you.